think the meetings that I, that I ran would be more efficient. Uh, I think that they would. Uh, I think that they would uh, last uh, less time. I think we'd try to pay a little bit more attention to the uh, rules of order. I think that uh, there would be less commentary, at least on my behalf. I had the opportunity to be in front of council, county council a few times in the last couple of years, as you're aware. And, uh, and uh, when I got over there and saw you know, how, it was, how things were happening over there, I just was taken aback a little bit. And I felt like they could use uh, a, a little more you know, professionalism, a little, you know, with, with my background in accounting and the law, I think I bring to the table some talents that, you know, maybe, some, maybe they could use over there. I also think I can do a good job of bringing people together over there. You know? uh, the main reason I decided to run was I was just tired of uh, all the different and all the arguing about things that are apparently petty. And uh, the, the failure, I think, to focus on the big picture items that they could do a whole lot better for the citizens of the county if they would focus on. I think that the voters are very frustrated with the performance of county council right now. I think they're not happy with it. I think people uh, turn on the TV and cringe <laughs> at the meetings. And I think he's a part of that. He's been over there for six years now. And he's a part of it. And I'm not. I think they need a fresh approach to it. I think I can do a better job of bringing those people together and bringing the various councils together. I don't think that the state law uh, allows for when they pass that law, mm -hmm. I, I was not necessarily in favor of it. I didn't jump out there and fight it, but I, I didn't think it was a good idea. In retrospect, I think it was a very good idea. I've come around for, for the city of Myrtle Beach, but uh, not, I mean, not for Orange County, I don't uh, 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 the, As I said, the enabling legislation for uh, the, uh, the state legislation wouldn't allow Orange County to do anything. Well, I don't think it's necessary. In saying that, uh, I'm not in favor of any, any uh, nuisance that's so disruptive to the public that it has a material effect on their quality of life. And if any nuisance arose that uh, came to that level, I, I would work to you know, try to restore people's quality of life. I would vote to enter executive session as little as possible uh, and only in those areas provided by law. I'm very, very curious about why they entered executive session on the uh, Economic Development Corporation or Economic Development. I think that was uh, a stretch of the reading of the law. And, uh, I, I'm curious about, you know, one of the main things that I've been speaking on throughout this campaign is the, is the need to move on jobs. And, and people are very concerned about that and people want to know about it. Here they have a meeting last week on that very issue, and as soon as they enter the meeting, they enter executive session. Uh, it's, I, 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 I just think that raises a lot of problems and questions. The county council really is not the person to hire and fire people. Uh, what they do is set the budget, and the staff is, you know, They're the ones who need to come up with those ideas, but I do believe that I can help them be more efficient. The county council's got to have to have a balanced budget. I mean, they, they can't run a deficit, so it will have to be cut. And I'll tell you this, whoever uh, is in that job for the next couple of years, I would imagine, uh, is going to have to make some really difficult choices. This is a large, I, 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 I'm going to answer that question in a roundabout way. This is a large and diverse county, and everybody's interests have got to be protected. And uh, certainly Carolina Forest is one of the fastest growing areas in the county, and their infrastructure needs, uh, 
need to be met, but you know, it, the bottom line is like you're talking about with the budget. You have limited funds and you have to prioritize those things. I think that uh, you can't really talk about the ride money because that was kind of allocated and they voted it in. Uh, and that can't really be changed. Uh, uh, I guess I guess maybe you could, but everybody kind of agreed to that up front. In terms of prioritizing some of these uh, uh, capital projects, you know, I haven't been privy to that, obviously, because I haven't been on council. But once I am on council, I'll be working hard at that. And I'll be doing, I'll be making sure that they hear my input on which ones I think are important and which ones should have the most priority. If there's no money to get, I would definitely not favor suing these people yeah. if you're just throwing good money after bad. I would pursue it to the extent that I needed to to determine whether or not that money was recoverable. And if there was any fraud or theft involved. If the taxpayer's money is recoverable, then we need to do what we can to recover it. And if people are stealing the taxpayer's money, then they need to answer for that. Uh, in terms of the animal shelter, in general, I think that private enterprise is a better solution than, than public. Uh, uh, I think that uh, typically private enterprise manages things better than the government does. 